Jinsan is here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up discussing the fallout of the Sony Michelle trade to the Los Angeles Rams. The first mover is Daryl Henderson down to RB25 for me in my 2021 season long rankings. Henderson is dealing with a hand injury, and we're not sure how much this Michelle trade was a factor in that scenario. Henderson has consistently been a guy the Rams have failed to commit to, and it seems like this is potentially another indication of that once again. So we don't know whether it's a hand injury, whether it's just for depth, or whether maybe the Rams are not impressed with what Henderson has done in practice, but either way, they've added competition for those early down reps that Henderson was in line to get. So now RB25, I think it's appropriate for Henderson given the concerns around his current role. As far as for Michelle himself, he is now my RB52. He was not previously ranked for me because the team he was on didn't value him, and now we know the Rams at least have some kind of value on him, giving up a fourth round pick. Michelle, now at least draftable, because we don't know what this Rams running back rotation will look like. It'll likely be some sort of committee, and it's very possible Michelle gets enough of a piece of that pie to be viable for fantasy in a very good offense we want pieces of behind a good offensive line. Michelle was tradable for a reason for the Patriots. Clearly, they did not think he was going to be, you know, a guy who was a main factor in that roster, so we do need to consider that as well, but Michelle, given the chance for some volume in a good offense, at least now worth drafting as my RB52. Finally, the smallest move of this trade for me was bumping Damian Harris up a bit. For me, I was already accounting for Michelle to not be a major factor in this offense, because during the preseason, we saw uh, Damian Harris and James White get a lot of the first team reps. Michelle didn't project to be a major factor here. But hey, one less body is one less body, and it's a guy who has a direct overlap with Harris's ideal skill set. So I did bump Harris up to RB28. Now, with that said, I would not be shocked if I still wound up being under consensus on Harris because there's been a lot of positive buzz on Harris since this trade went down. He is still an early down back who's going to deal with James White in terms of getting targets, so I don't expect Harris, Harris to get a lot of targets. That's a massive dent into his ceiling. So to me, RB28 appropriate for Harris even after you make the adjustment for Michelle being gone. There will be plenty of more trades to discuss here as we get closer to week number one, so make sure you stay tuned next time here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.